I'm Sarah, I'm from Deerfield, Illinois. Our group really brainstormed the whole design process together. Then we like split up into the two different machines, the above water and the underwater. So I kind of focused more on the above water one. I guess we're, we're all just really proud of what we accomplished together. When we first were assigned the project, it seemed really challenging and I'd never done anything like that, like with wiring or any soldering. I'd never done any of it before, so I thought I wasn't going to be a part of that. But then I ended up doing the wiring part, so I guess I learned that anything is possible. <laughs> I'm Alicia from Roscoe, Illinois. For RC Perch, it um, didn't go so well. One of the motors was spinning faster than the other one, so we had to kind of drive in circles for a little bit, and we could only run one at a time. So I learned the importance of like patience and precision when you're wiring stuff together, because the reason ours didn't work was likely that we had cut too much of the wire when we were stripping it so it didn't have as powerful of a connection. So I guess I learned that you really have to be precise. Uh, I'm Drew from Indianapolis. I help solder the uh, sea perch. Basically connecting the wires between two devices. Didn't even know what it was until I got here. It was nice to see our team work together and it was exciting because we were actually pretty good at it. Or our, uh, we set a record, so. Uh, my name is Devin, I'm from Naperville, Illinois. One motor on each side of every of both of our robots broke, but uh, it was still a fun experience. Even though we didn't do as well as we thought we were, we still had great communication and our bot still turned out looking well and we even got most of our motors running. So.